All right, what's going on, guys? K2RCL Russell here. So today we're going to be continuing the video series about the DMR setup. Um, and one of the things that you probably noticed if you've been following along with those videos, and I'll post a link to the first one up here where we built the DMR hotspot for less than $50, uh, is actually setting up a DMR ID. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip you over to the screen and I'm going to take you through where to go and how to set up and get a DMR ID so you can put it into your DMR hotspot. All right, guys. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Google and we're going to type in radioid.net. Hit enter. And it should have took us into the home, but it looks like it had me on the account screen there. So once you get into radioid.net, you got all this data information and stuff that's up front, and you're gonna have this menu bar over to the left-hand side, and you wanna go into the login sign up. Now you can sign in with your Google account, log in with Facebook, um, and you can do, forgot your password. I already have my information here, so I could just log in, but I'm, what I'm actually gonna do is show you how to sign up. You click on the sign up tab, and it's going to go through everything that you need to know as far as their policies are concerned. Um, it says, I will not register a new call sign when I already have a call sign DMR ID. All right, so I already have a DMR ID, so I'm not going to go through and redo this again. But in order for you to proceed forward, if you do not have or have never set up a DMR ID, you're going to hit, I agree to the above terms and conditions and policies right here. And then you're going to click register account. Now, in order to get a DMR ID, you have to have a approved and current call sign. So you're going to have to input that call sign in here, put in your email address, and let me tell you, put in a email address that you have access to. You'll have to verify some information and you'll get all of your update and notifications through that email. Set your own password, set your country or territory, click I'm not a robot and create account. Now, let me flip back over here. Once your account is approved, you're going to get an email telling you that it's approved. Um, it takes a little bit of time to get it verified. Uh, sometimes it can take five minutes. Sometimes it can take a full day. Uh, you can do Brandmeister integration if you'd like, query VM live data, and you can change your password and all that good stuff in here. But this is where you're going to go to get your DMR ID so you can set up and get access to the Brandmeister network, which I'm going to do a video in uh, on how to set that up in the next series here. All right, so there you go, guys. That is how you get your DMR ID, and you have to have that in order to set up your hotspot. Uh, you're also going to have to have your Brandmeister account set up, which we'll do in the next video. So stay with us. Be sure, hit that subscribe button, tick that bell, uh, give us a thumbs up, drop comments or questions down below. And as always, we appreciate you tuning in.